all, welcome back if you're joining me for another video, if you're joining me for the first time, hello! I have in front of me some of the, what I'm going to call the New Style Littlest Pet Shop Series 1. And they've gone back to the older style, more realistic, more cutesy type animal. So let's have a look up close at the packaging. So in this little one we have a doggy. So these ones come with one of the large size and one of the teeny tinies and an accessory here. They've got up here series one, Littlest Pet Shop. So it's all been rebranded. It looks like it's removed Blythe, the, um, the Blythe series sort of theme from the packaging, which came all with generation four. It's got a little show here of what you get um, others in the series. And yeah, it just seems to be, maybe this is Generation 5. I'm guessing people are going to start referring to this as Generation 5 since it's starting again now at Series 1. Let's open it up. Okay, so the first thing is that I'm going to look at is the checklist. So we have, again, we've removed all the Blythe, etc. So, uh, black, oh, that's the black and white series. I've seen a few people review this, but when I saw these in America, I wasn't too impressed with them. They only seemed to be the ones that we could get were the teeny tiny ones or the or the medium size. Now, the medium size ones are about this size. So I call these the large, there's the medium size, these the teeny tiny ones. And then there's the, the big, big ones from previous series. So those are like the giants, <laughs> the big, big ones. But all the ones we saw in this series were medium and teeny tiny. We tend to prefer the standard size and over this size here we go so this looks like the colors you can get in the series so it seems to be all sorted by colors and it seems they seem to be well there's all different size ones um, a lot more teeny tiny ones than there has been I think but um yep that's cool let's have a look at the product I'm going to look at the little guy first, and the little guy's name is, just throwing it everywhere, Bertie Weimaran. Why Weimaran? A weird last name. Okay, so these things, I call this sort of toy vacuum fodder. So these ones don't have a QR co uh, code on the back. They basically just have LPS imprinted into the back of their head. So you can see by the size of my fingers, this is something you want to tell your kids to be very, very careful with because anytime it's not put away and the vacuum goes over it, it is vacuum fodder. <laughs> They're very cute, but... Ah, why isn't it staying up? Yay! I was going to say. Alright, so we're, the next we've got... We had an envelope. I don't know if that caught on camera, but they just shot right across the room into a stack of toys. I'm not going to bother to look for that. So it's a little letter box is the accessory here. Let's see if it opens up. It seems to suggest on the back it does. So we've got a little doggy here that stays up. The little flag to let you know there's mail in there. And oh my goodness. Just when having nails comes in handy. Yeah so it's just a little accessory for playtime and there was a little envelope you could stick in there I guess. If you want to have a little role play. So this one is Bill Wormaran. Now I instantly can feel this has a different feel to it than um, the Generation 4 ones. Um, towards the end, when they got to the pets in the city, um, they started to get that this sort of feel in it. But the um, original Generation 4s, they had quite a rubbery, plasticky feel. So this does also seem to yell at me that it is going into the original style of LPS where they're a bit more realistic with a little bit of cute in the eyes. <laughs> so it is very hard, it feels quite solid. Um, the eyes, I can see kids loving this. There are not holes all over it. Oh my goodness, the one thing that drove me insane is that LPS has been imprinted into the body was the deco holes. I hated the deco holes. You had this beautiful cat or dog and then there were all these hats, holes in it. And sometimes they had the holes in the mouth and they looked absolutely awful. Um, the accessory Bill comes with is this little hat. So he seemed, ah, oh, it tends to suggest that he's a postman. So maybe he goes around and posts things. Um, 
to the animals. That's really, really cute. I do. I'm digging this new series. This is very cute. I've always liked Littlest Pet Shop regardless. I can take Artsy and I can take normal. <laughs> On to the next pack. So here is the next one. My daughter saw this and she absolutely fell in love. She's like, oh my god, it's so cute. Um, it's got blushing on the cheeks. It's got a little pussycat baby hair, a princess bed, and it looks like a brush of some sort. I have to have a look at that up closer. And a crown. So this is definitely going to be a favorite with the kids. And I'm throwing it on the ground. Let's open it okay, up. Okay, so the first piece is a bit of a eh, eh. Um, it's meant to be a brush, but the bristles have actually been placed incorrectly on it and they're placed off to the side. <laughs> they're coming off the brush. So it should have been placed in the middle of the um, brush there, but that's really weird. The bristles are falling off the side of the brush, so it doesn't really matter. We're not so much into the accessories at the moment as we are the pets. This accessory, however, is quite cute. It's a little princess bread for a little sport rotten kitty who just has to be princess or queen of the world. Oh my goodness, teeny tiny kitty. It's so tiny. Again, it's vacuum fodder, so we're just gonna have to be very, very careful when we're playing with LPS. They all go back in the box. It's hard, its head doesn't move. Um, it has a little hole at the bottom, I guess, for if you wanna stick it on some of the, like the Pets in the City carts or whatever but it is very very cute and this is absolutely gorgeous this white cat she's white with a very pinky tinge to her in certain areas she's got the bobbly head and blushing on the cheeks and look at those big blue eyes she is beautiful and very very reminiscent of the um, first cats she's got this lovely crown that you can take on or off with these little pink ears up here this is going to be a great one to customize because she is a white base which makes coloring her super duper easy and she is just so cute i really really love her she's my favorite so far but we have one more pack to open let's get to it okay so i am not entirely sure why we chose this one because it's a kangaroo i think i think it's a kangaroo um what were the cats names oh i just realized i didn't read out the cats names um the cat's names were Viola and Bijou Angora. Okay, well, of course they're Angora cats. This one's name is Edda and Abby Kangaroonie. I don't know why we got kangaroos. It's not really something my daughter would go after, but um, obviously, honestly, <laughs> we just happened to have kangaroos. Maybe we thought they were puppies. Let's bring okay, them out. Okay, so first of all, we have this teeny tiny Joey. He's just absolutely adorable just so teeny it's so tiny i'm scared to hold it and then one of the accessories it came with was these teeny tiny glasses so <laughs> teeny tiny so cute let's see if they fit on nicely and not yep they fit on and they're not gonna fall off easily so that's really really cute <laughs> it's just adorable And I now know why we got the Joey because uh, the kangaroo because it's so adorable. I love this medium brown color with these green eyes, and she looks absolutely gorgeous. Now she also came with this accessory to put around her neck, like so. And the little Joey in there. Oh my goodness gracious me, that is adorable. Oh, it's hard to pre it's actually hard for me to choose between the cat and her. And then they came also with this accessory to put on Mama. Let's see what way it goes around. Is it that way it goes around? I think it might be this way. Am I doing it wrong? Ah! Joey, baby! My baby! You dropped my baby! I'm sorry, Mama. I'll pick her up soon. Ah! I don't know if I'm doing this right or wrong. Oh, there we go. I think that's right. All right, so I finally managed to get the head, uh, the headpiece on. This one's really cute. I think this one's accessories are the best. I know that the kids love love. I've watched so many videos um, of um, subscri LPS subscribers. I always try and subscribe back, and um, I've watched their little videos, and they love dressing up their pets and personalizing and giving them. Um, personalities etc so accessories that they can dress up like this are just awesome in my book for their 
imagination role play. Let's get up close and personal. Okay, so and here they are, up and close. Let me know in the comments below if people are referring to them as Generation 5. To me, it should be Generation 5 as it looks like a complete rebranding here. It was Series 1. Um, they're definitely going back to the old style and remember reading that. So they are remaking them and looking at feedback, which is awesome. Okay, my favorite. My goodness gracious me, you know what? I, I love this cat. It's absolutely beautiful. But I think the accessories sold her to me. Mama Kanga is my favorite. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you have any of the new style LPS or if they're on your wish list for Christmas. If you love LPS, please give this a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you love toys. We love to open toys here and we love to share. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.